Hey, how's it going? Brian here from RVWithTito.com and in this video I want to share with you a technique that I've been using lately for installing and mounting semi-flexible solar panels to the roof of my RV that includes uh, an insulated layer underneath the panel, between the panel and the roof uh, for drainage, for cooling, for keeping the panel cool. I know that's an issue that's come up a lot over the years. And it doesn't require any uh, screwing uh, into the roof of your RV, so don't have to worry about that. And finally, the panel itself, the solar panel, is completely removable. So if you ever need to swap it out or change it out for any reason, or just want to remove it temporarily, uh, it's just as simple as removing a few bolts or wing nuts, and there's no need to remove any messy decor or Eternabon tape, which can be a bit difficult. So let me walk you through uh, how I put this together and I hope it helps you out with your project. Before putting out this video, I wanted to make sure that I did a really good real world uh, test of this setup uh, just to make sure that everything was good and it was going to hold up under the uh, the conditions we're going to subject it to. So I've driven over a thousand miles now with this uh, on our RV. These two panels, there's one back there and there's one over here and uh, they've really held up well and we've actually driven through you know a big storm and uh, real heavy crosswinds and uh, you know all kinds of conditions, highway speeds and they've really held up quite well. For the insulated layer underneath the panel, I used a sheet of corrugated plastic. Now you might also see this labeled as a plastic cardboard, and it's easy to cut and use, and it comes in, a, in various sizes, but uh, just pick out uh, whatever size you need for the number of panels that you're gonna, that you're gonna install. I started by, uh, by cutting out a section of the corrugated uh, plastic and just to fit the, the outline of the solar panel. So you just cut around it until it fits just right. I went with a quarter inch, uh, so quarter 20 sized uh, mounting hardware that's stainless steel for this, starting with a one inch uh, carriage bolt and uh, a large washer and a lock washer. And I went ahead and used uh, a wing nuts also instead of a regular nut to secure this. Now you could just use a couple of regular uh, nuts uh, to really secure it down tight. I wanted something metal for the uh, the mounting hardware to grab onto and to really be able to crank it down and tighten it without uh, damaging the, the solar panel or the uh, that insulated layer. So I, I found this uh, really cheap uh, transition strip that's made of aluminum from Home Depot that's used for flooring. And it was uh, a couple bucks for like an eight foot length of this stuff. And it worked out really, really well. And I figured I'd be able to cut it up into smaller pieces and use it in between each of those mounting points to give it some integrity. And I was also going to use it to create this this front leading edge of the solar panel and bolt it down there so that there's, a, there's no chance of any kind of airlift from the front. Now the next thing was to uh, put some carriage bolts into each one of those holes. And uh, I found it easier to just kind of cut out a little bit of that corrugated material so that the carriage bolt kind of sat in there nice and flush and it wasn't going to be a bump that was going to that you know was going to lift up over the uh, surface of the roof. Make sure you only cut away just enough to, uh, to get that, uh, that, that top of that carriage bolt just to be flush mounted to the bottom of, the, uh, of that corrugated plastic. You don't want to cut all the way through. For each of the mounting locations, for each hole where you're going to put a bolt through, I cut out a two inch section or so of that aluminum transition strip and drilled a hole through it and just slid it in between the, uh, the plastic and the, the solar panel. So that was just going to add uh, that integrity and to be able to bolt something in there and give it some strength.
I also cut out a little notch in mine just so I could align that, uh, that hole just right with that grommet hole. And it actually turned out to be uh, kind of a nice little feature, kind of recessed it a little bit. Not necessarily required. I just uh, just make sure that uh, that the holes are aligned so you can put a bolt through. With the remaining piece of that aluminum transition strip, I cut a piece long enough to, to span the length of that front edge of the solar panel so I could mount it down to the front and prevent any kind of, uh, any kind of lift coming from the front as I drove down the road. I cleaned the surface of the RV roof where I was going to put down the, uh, the panel with some uh, rubbing alcohol just to make sure there's a nice clean surface to, to mount some VHB tape and a turnabon. Then I laid out the whole thing in position where I was going to put it. Put a little bit of VHB tape under each of those mounting locations so where, where each bolt is going to be I wanted a, a nice strong anchor on the roof. Then once I had everything in place I used some some Eternabon tape to uh, secure each anchor point without using Eternabon across the whole edge. I wanted to make sure that there was enough room on the sides for, for condensation and water to flow underneath as well as airflow. So just a little bit on each anchor point was sufficient. I bolted all the anchor points down leaving the two on the front edge for last because I wanted to install that uh, front edge uh, transition strip that's going to prevent any kind of lift uh, as I go down the road uh, from occurring. So, you know, it's going to keep any wind uh, from, from flowing underneath that front edge. Now the only thing that I've probably done uh, since installing it is to put a little bit of Loctite on each of these threads. Since I'm using wing nuts, you know, I was just a little bit uh, unsure whether it was going to come loose at all. Even though I have a lock washer in there, you know, I didn't want it to, to loosen up as I went down the road. And, and with the Loctite on there, it's been really, really secure. If you do have some ideas that could improve this whole setup, uh, please share them. You know, we just want to improve it and make it better for all of us. And uh, for those of you who are new to RV Solar and want to learn more, uh, I've put together a free guide that might help you out for RV Solar and I'll put a link in the description. It's totally free to download. Hope you get something out of that and this video. And uh, take care and I will see you in the next one.